Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning. Time for your latest local forecast and trail conditions report brought to you by Village on the Go, or Village to Go. Find them right in Village West or find them on the Sugarloaf website. And you can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. For the day today, looking like a great day out there. Partly sunny skies, high temperatures at the summit in the mid 20s, base temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. And we'll see a light west northwest breeze around 15 to 25 miles an hour up towards the summit down here on the base. Barely noticeable around 8 to 14 degrees so get out there and enjoy it especially first thing this morning with the fresh grooming uh, Tuesday we'll find summit temperatures uh, cooling down in the upper teens to lower 20s base temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s and a light west southwest breeze and it looks like that'll bring in some snow showers could see an inch of accumulation throughout the day so that is some good news every little bit helps and looking at your extended forecast Wednesday looking like a good day partly sunny skies a high of 32 degrees Thursday, we'll see a high of 33 with partly sunny skies, and then a system moves in on Friday where we could see a chance of some snow showers or some mixed precip. We'll have to wait. As you can see, temperatures down here around the base right around freezing. So do your snow dances. Hope for a cold weather, and we'll get through it. When uh, We're looking at Birchwood Interiors. They're bringing you this trail report, 49 trails of ski and ride on, 10 lifts, getting you those runs, 41 trails on the groomers list last night. We're looking at loose granular and hard pack surfaces. Surface is good out there, so get out there and enjoy it, especially first thing in the morning to enjoy the groomer's fresh corduroy. You'll find that on Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Spur Line, King's Landing, Hayburner, Skitter, Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, Sluice, Gondola Line, Haywire, Candyside, and Lower Winters Way, as well as the Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook right around the base area. And as far as over on the east side of the mountain, You'll find grooming on Ram Down, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway, as well as over on the west side, Windrow and Scoot all smooth out. Hopefully, to, uh, patrol will open up trails like possibly Hallback or uh, Widowmaker underneath the snow guns, the big whales. The skiing has been good over there from, uh, that's the word from patrol, Wedge, Choker. Widowmaker Flume on the snowmaking list. That's where they've got things set up. And then they'll go set up things on Sidewinder to get that going. Um, and also don't forget about the train parks. Snubber, Skidway, and Sawduster. Those get going at 8.30 to move you around the base area. If you want to get a little higher on the hill, Double Runner East gets going at 8.30. Uh, and that gets you to the base of the Skyline Lift, which gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. Super Quad gets going at 8.30 as well, which gets you all around the mountain anywhere you need to go. Uh, King Pine was having an issue yesterday, but is up and running and a go for today. So 9 o'clock, King Pine, it will be open, and Wiffle Tree as well. Nice, fast super quad there, lower on the east side. And Timberline, that gets going at 9 a.m. See some great views and some great skiing up uh, off of the second highest mountain in Maine. So go check that out. Current conditions at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center, they're doing sporadic grooming just to kind of uh, take it easy on the snow surfaces. They do need no more snow, but there's plenty of cross-country skiing uh, to go around. There was some skating on the pond. You have to check with that. Snowshoeing is available, and you can rent fat bikes too. Fat bike trail conditions, well, things are starting to set up, but there's a few trails that are great, trails like Mead, as well as... Uh, uh, let's see, Old Gauge, Goldenrod, and then a few other ones are kind of rutted up. Uh, but if you lower your tire pressure, you're an experienced rider, you have a great time. So get out there and enjoy it. Roku letting you down. Be sure to give us an email, WSKITV at WSKITV, and tell us that you want to be able to get WSKI Channel 17 on your Roku. And we'll send that to the powers that be. And also, ResortTVResearch.com slash survey go to that check it out for your chance to win a carver titanium bike as well as all our prizes for watch and win